feel like we all have something that we we, <laughs> get, that we like that we don't really like, but yeah, we kind of do. Like me and episode three of Star Wars, like That's true. I'll watch that movie like in any time of day. I, I know it's awful, but like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, honestly, if you put it on now, even though we just saw it recently, I'd probably still not just to watch it all the way through. <laughs> Pack the Clones, I don't know. I don't know if I would, no. Phantom Menace, no. Probably not. No. Especially <laughs> because that movie doesn't even start out interesting. No, that's true. That was what really starts interesting, so you're like, okay, I like they put you, see where this is like going. That's what Star Wars is least. supposed to be, right? Exactly, it's supposed right. to be like... Puts you right in the action. Puts you right in the action. Like, all of them do that, right? Like, episode five... First shot, uh-huh. Luke's. It's not. It's not action necessarily, but like, yeah, it's you're in though. It's, like, yeah, it's like, oh yeah, okay, characters are back. Like, it, it's it's like Luke. He's just on a tauntaun, right? Yeah. And then he takes off the mask and goes do 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 do. It's just like, oh yay, yeah, Luke. Back. They're already I back. Like that guy. Things. They're already doing things. Yeah, it? yeah. They just it's, it's turn of the Jedi. It's it's, it's the Jabba's yeah. palace, right? Yeah. Just all, the characters are already doing that one's a little more like episode one I say because it's two guys walking up to a place to negotiate to negotiate and, and then they all sneak in one by one yeah it's and they all get ca- and then they all get captured, captured. yeah <laughs> yeah I'm sure the giant is, it falls apart a little bit yeah. it's, it's it's like it's well, I, feel I like, saw this one video where it was um it was talking about how uh the the Empire Strikes Back is more but so storytelling oh, where it goes okay, like yeah, yeah. something happens somebody wants but so finally is yeah, so storytelling like, but you can do an infinite number of so like shows. the the empire is trying to find luke so they send out uh imperial probes one of them one of them finds so they come to the so they come to hoth they so so how do they get out all the, the and like all those things that happen but so is essentially problem solving yeah, story all the things that happen are because of the last thing that happens in that mm-hmm, movie essentially yeah. but if you look at like episode 4 or 6 yeah. it's more like this happens then this happens then this yeah, happens yeah yeah i know it's definitely more it's definitely a more fluid way yeah. of telling a story i think it's a little better in the <coughs> after, episode 4 is great though as episode 4 as, is not too bad no it's not too bad everything, part you can say everything gets, happens because of the last thing yeah for in a way it's just like less so cuz like only they, only like the they last need a pilot so they meet uh han and and Chewie, right yeah. like okay sure and it's like, oh, they want to go to Alderaan, but then they're getting tracked in by the Death Star, so yeah. they have to escape the Death Star. Yeah, yeah and it, it, it kind of works still. Yeah. Um, episode 6 definitely Episode 6 at least did the first, the with, first, the first act. With, the like, first Jedi. act is just, just like, like, it's resolving uh, the things from yeah. Empire, right? It's, like, it's oh, essentially killing Smaug. C- C-3PO and, and R2 go to yeah. uh, Jabba's Palace, and then they get... Then they get captured, yeah. and then Luke goes there, and then he gets, then he got, then he has to fight a, a <laughs> and then, and then Leia tries to break out Han, but then she gets captured, and then, <laughs> and they all go to the, uh, Flying. to the Sarlacc pit, and then they fight a bunch of stuff, <laughs> and then Leia has to be in a sexy outfit, and then, then they, in our defense, she hadn't been in a sexy outfit for like. That's true. Higher trilogy. That's true. That's a very good point. That's the first time we see yeah. him, like a revealing sexy outfit. Where if you look at, um, uh, what's her name? Madame. Really? Yeah. It's the second. As soon as we get to the second movie, she has like a dozen, a dozen like sexy revealing outfits. A dozen outfits in that movie. She has like I try to count. She has like forty outfits. In I that. try to count every time we watch it. I always <laughs> lose count. It's true. It's like, 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 you'll just, like, the next scene you'll see, she'll have changed her outfit. It's like, oh, I forgot the first one. I forgot the, uh, like you, uh, yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, it's so many. Yeah. <laughs> but let's get to what we were going to talk about. Yeah, so Dan, apparently there's a girl you like. There's a girl I like. Her name is Supergirl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so... I really like the show Supergirl, <laughs> even though it's not can, that good. Can you explain why you like it? <laughs> yeah. I can, I can, what did you say? You can criticize me and judge me for my, uh, and speculate, speculate why, uh, <laughs> why, why I'm an idiot for liking the show. Okay. <laughs> okay. But I'll, I'll get into it. So the first season of Supergirl is not that great. I watched, like, the first couple episodes. I watched the first episode. And, and like, then I watched... Nope. And then I watched, um, I, I, I watched, like, a few episodes in the middle, and then I watched the Flash crossover, which was great, 
except for the Supergirl characters, but Flash and Supergirl together were great. Oh, yeah. I saw, that. I, I saw that in the news. And then there was only like two or three episodes till the end, so I just watched till the season finale, and the finale was fine. Uh, but then season two starts, and they're like, okay, we're getting rid of all the bullshit right away. So first season, we never see we never see Superman, but they hint at him, they reference him. Oh, my cousin, blah, blah, blah. We see like his silhouette a couple times. Right out of the gate, episode one. Superman shows up. Hey, I'm Superman. And he's more fucking Clark Kent Superman than Man of Steel Henry Cavill has ever been. That's amazing. The only problem is his fucking outfit. He has this weird cape where, like, the cape parallels 